Welcome to Titans Hockey here, Anaheim Ice. It's a beautiful Thursday night here inside of where the Anaheim Ducks training facility happens. Tonight's matchup is Chapman Panthers taking on the Cal State Fullerton Titans here. Kane Nelson high above the ice to my left, AJ Cam, and already a big hit to start. Sit back and enjoy for those of you watching on YouTube. Meanwhile, a steal and an opportunity for the Titans as it got pushed to the corner. A centering pass got blocked down and Chapman already moving up ahead. Good hit check there and the fans already getting into it. It was loud the minute Chapman fans were allowed in. And I expect many of that throughout the 60 minute plus here as a four man scrum in the corner. Puck comes free. Cross ice pass, and it is fired back in deep. They win the race. Another shot from the corner. That hit the side of the net. The 2 11s duel. And another big check by the Titans. That was Ethan Kreller with the booming check. Now it's played right in front of the Chapman bench here, and a steal again. Onside are the Titans. Toe drag fails, and they will go again in the same corner. This is a preseason game. The regular season starts October, which is a Saturday, the first of the month. We will be at Great Park, Irvine, rink number four. The game will still be streamed here on YouTube. A battle for it at the blue line, and it is fired back in deep. The Titans get their first one-on-one -on -one play here. A steal behind the red line, a centering pass. They whack at it, and it is poked along at the half boards. You hear the coaches and the players. We hope you are getting as much ambient sound as we would like here. This is a trial run till October 1st. Both teams make changes. Good hit check right in front of the penalty box as the puck popped up in the air right to the Duck logo at center. Banked off the boards and now picked up by the Titans. It's kept into the zone though by Zane Garcia as he delivered a check. Kicked off the skates of the Chapman Panthers as now it works along the boards in front of the Panther bench. As the Titans, or I beg your pardon, the Titans bench as the Titans did a great job getting it out. Good hit again right in front of us up here. And the, and the Titans at the bench appreciating that. Now a race for it here, and it is fired in on Kurt Yano, and he makes the stop and a whistle with 17-17 to go in the first. The preseason matchup that you are watching tonight is the first of potentially three. Tonight's matchup against the Chapman Panthers, and then on Saturday the 24th, there's another matchup as a shot off the tie-up is weakened through and Yano's got it and another stoppage and AJ Cam likes what he's seeing here. But to finish the thought, second game will take place on Saturday the 24th of September at 8.15 p.m. against USC. That would be game two and depending on how well both teams do here determines the championship game, I believe, on Sunday. Offensive pressure here by the Titans. That was Captain William Fighter who was up there. This one hops off the stick. Good hit check there at the half boards. And now it is picked up by the Titans and played ahead. Now it is Ryan Ritter carrying in with speed in a two on two to the outside. Ritter cuts in and fires one and a save is made by Tommy Holtz, the goaltender of the Panthers. Now an opportunity the other way. Into the slot and a shot, and that one steered away by Kurt Yano. It bounced on back. One-time shot, and that got the springboards. Yano alert for that. Back and forth action here in the first period. A whistle stops play. And what do we have here? So the Titans are going to go on the power play. It's an elbowing penalty against Brent Buckland of the Panthers. This is the first power play of the night for either team. 
And we'll see if the Titans can do work here. 16.20 to go here in the set, uh, first period. As we notice that the time was not going on the clock, we will change that for you at the next stoppage as an opportunity here for the Panthers would not go. Here's an opportunity now for the Titans on the power play. It's fed on back. They'll set it up at the circle. Trey uh, plays it back and then worked it across. They switch sides here. They'll play catch. It's back up top and then on across. A shot scores! What a shot! It's a power play goal and a 1-0 lead for the Titans. It is number 13. Who has gotten the goal and the Titans strike first at 15:44 of the first? So play resumes here as we adjust the clock for you. And I have it set to 15:21, and once that time hits, we'll hit play on it again, as this is fired back in deep to the Panthers' end. You hear the fans, and they're cheering for the guys in blue. And now everything should be lined up, and indeed it is. It's a packed house here on a Thursday night, and an icing is called. And so the guys in blue will have to stay on the ice until they get it out as far as center. You're watching Titans Hockey here on YouTube on Titans Ice Hockey Broadcasting, a new channel that was created. Kenny Nelson here high above the ice, working the camera and the tech tonight, AJ Cam, a former player here for this Titans team. Kicked on along and then intercepted there and taking a hit was one of the Panthers. And then it is carried back in by the Titans into the offensive zone. Able to get there first. Oh, and then a huge hit right at the side of the net. They popped right back up quickly as this is thrown across. A centering pass, and now they work it to the opposite side here in the corner. Good hit check there by the Titans to prevent any chances here as this is back and forth action here in Anaheim Ice. And a huge hit in the defensive end as Alec Gordon went down. He seems to be okay as he was holding towards the neck area. Meanwhile, 14.07 to go here in the first period. one nothing Titans on a power play goal moments ago. And Fighter's looking for it, and he got sandwiched there. Ritter got involved to look up for the captain. Ritter waiting for it, and he tried to deflect it wide towards Holtz there. And now he's tangled up. Fighter got there. It's thrown around. And now Fighter able to pick it up. He tried to throw it around, and unfortunately it did not work, but this will go back down. Yano stays put, and an icing is called, and an offensive opportunity for the Titans. Offensive zone win for the Titans, but unfortunately it goes back down. And it will be played in the defensive end by the Panthers. Held along in the corner, four-man scrum. Zane Garcia among one of the guys in blue. They throw it to the opposite side now. 
Oh, nice move there to get by. And so it is backhanded along. Hits off a player of the Panthers. The backhand scoop unfortunately stays in. A good keep there by Dexter Cor uh, Coley there. Now a chance out in front. Kick saved by Yano. He's down and he popped back up. Great stop to keep it the 1-0 lead for the Titans as it goes back down and an icing is called. Off the faceoff, and a score! A shot from the blue line by Captain Dexter Cautley, and the game is tied. Twelve, twelve to go here in the first. It's a tie game, and it was loud here for the visitors. So play resumes, and it is fired back in. Titans will advance here as this is carried in. And trying to get back in there was Ethan Kreller as this is banked along off the boards. A steal right back across. Kreller could not hold it. And now the Panthers have an opportunity in a one on four. Great sandwich play by two Titans. Carry back in with speed now are the Titans moving on in. Holds it, try to go for a wrap round, not there. They're gonna try to set it up here. Now it's Ethan Kreller behind the net. Kreller calling for it. The pass escapes, it's on back and a wrister and that hit someone on the way through. That was Grayson Yada that it hit in gray. Kept alive by the Titans. Caught in a pile of skates. Worked down low to the half boards. A backhand pass towards the net. Did not reach Holtz. But it is never a bad play to put the puck on net. Meanwhile, this is led ahead in a shot. Stopped by Yano. And could not be kept in by the Panthers as they will have to fetch it down. Here's a steal though, it comes right back. And then a slap shot, didn't get all of that, was Alec Gordon. Chipped on along. Picked up now by the Panthers, moving on in. Here's a chance for him and a stop by Yano. No further play, no arm raise for a penalty. As having the try there was Brent Buckland. Offensive zone win for the Panthers off the tie-up. It's a shot that got blocked and tangled up with the captain there with Spencer Rollins, number six in blue. He was tangled up with Dexter Cotley, the goal scorer for the Panthers and the captain of this team. Kept alive at the blue line. Able to get his way around and arm has come up. I saw that at center. And a power play for the Panthers. And now a little extracurricular activity as the linesmen get in between. And the fans like this. And they hope they see more of that. And maybe potentially there might be more than a minor penalty that was originally going to the Titans here with 9.56 to go here in the first period. As the time will be adjusted accordingly. A 
And so it looks like we're going to get a couple guys that are going in. Two aside, potentially, is there is still some chatter out there. And the fans letting them know of what they have just witnessed. You're watching Titans Hockey here on YouTube through Titans Ice Hockey Broadcasting. Kenny Nelson here, high above the ice. I have AJ Cam with me on camera work tonight and tech gear that you are seeing on the screen as we are doing our best here to make sure that everything is lined up and according to what you are witnessing here. But so far, it's been an action-packed game. Two goals in the game so far. The Titans scoring a power play goal. And then minutes later, the Panthers' captain, Dexter Cotley, had tied the game off a tie-up and a shot from the blue line as the linesmen are getting together here and sorting the penalties as they are telling the on-ice of uh, people inside the box between the uh, penalty boxes. That is what the delay is right now. But hopefully you are enjoying the game as much as we are. Hockey is just around the corner for both here and the pros. First regular season game for the Cal State Fullerton Titans is going to be October 1st, which is a Saturday. It will be at Great Park in Irvine, rink number four, at about 9 o'clock. There is a large crowd that is hovering over the penalty boxes, more towards the Cal State Fullerton side. It is full of students who have come here to show their appreciation tonight. So it looks like there's only one penalty on the scoreboard that I am seeing. It is number 15 that is going to be serving the penalty. And according to my notes here, on a roster that was recently updated I don't see it but the numbers will change and so off the face off a shot is held by Kurt Yano and AJ Cam just to let me uh, inform me here that it is Andrew Francos who is serving the minor here and indeed I am seeing this now and so this is a successful penalty kill that is going on here as I will begin the timer once again and have that updated for you. It'll be off by just a hair, but no matter, it'll be adjusted accordingly. Panthers bring it into the offensive zone. And the bench of the Titans letting the penalty killers know that they are being are doing off to a wonderful start here. A minute 24 to go on the minor penalty to the Titans. Andrew Francois for, I believe it was a roughing penalty that followed with some extracurricular activity that you saw moments ago. The game has turned a little feisty and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's a matter of only time here that the linesman can keep it under control Here's a lead pass ahead, and an offside is called by the linesman. With 8.54 to go here in the first, as I have set it to 8.51, and we'll resume that once we get there. 1-1 one, one here in Anaheim, 12 minutes down the street from the Honda Center where the Anaheim Ducks play. We are currently inside the official training facility of the Anaheim Ducks. This is where the game is taking place today. Flying into the zone of the Panthers here. One of the Titans goes down. A shot, and the net came off. Yano made the stop. And meanwhile, with 8.34 to go here in the first period, we have a whistle. The net's back in place. 41 seconds to go on the minor penalty to the Titans, who have the game's only power play goal of the game and that's how they have gotten their first goal tonight.
Puck worked to Cotley. Played on back. Good knife check there by Captain William Fighter. That shot got blocked by Fighter. And that kills off more time, which has five seconds to go as Fighter comes into it. Fighter moving on in, and that one rolled in on him. Great stop by Holt, and then the shot goes wide. And then that one was thrown just wide of the net. So the Titans get their guy back. Changes in lines for both. A good booming check right in front of the fans above the penalty box with 7.35 to go here. Now a centering pass, nobody home. This is work back in. Thrown across. Now to the opposite side. Worked in front of the penalty boxes. Kept into the zone. It's back down low. Played now at the half boards and turned up a bit there was one of the Titans. Now it's held along at the half boards. A scrum here and a whistle. And more pushing and shoving from what we can see up here. 6.55 to go on the clock. As you are seeing 651 on your screen, do not be alarmed. It will be back on top of things here. As we are adjusting everything here for you. So a face-off win and a shot off the tie-up. And so it goes wide on the Yano cage. As this is played back in and a failed clear by the Titans. Maybe a second effort. It's thrown into the slot. Save Yano. Rebound and then trying to poke it home are the Panthers. The net rattles around. A stoppage and a push there by the Panthers. And I believe maybe a penalty might be coming from all this. As the Titans trying to plead their case. Zane Garcia there. And yes, a power play is forthcoming for the Cal State Fullerton Titans. And so the power play begins. They'll set it up. They're one for one tonight on the power play. They work it back up top to the blue line. They'll play catch. Worked at the side of the net. 6.16 to go on the clock. As the Titans looking to get a shot off here. This one hops off the stick. And then a booming check, you could hear that, as this one worked back to the blue line. A wrister, and that got a piece of Cotley. Rolled around. 40 seconds gone off the power play. A shot deflects off a skate of one of the Panthers on a turnaround shot from the blue line. And that one hops off the stick and rolls out, and everybody's got to come back out on this delayed offside. Down the wing, drops it back. Rister, save made by Holtz on the try from the slot. And now a tough angle shot, rebound, oh, and it didn't get through, what a stop. Another shot, popped up, they score! A power play goal, two for two tonight. And just that, like that, it is two to one in favor of the Titans. It popped up in the air, a match scramble, and then settled right in front of the goal line. It was jammed in, 
And for the second time tonight, that is two power play goals for the Titans. And just like that, it is now two to one. There's some claps from AJ Cam. He is happy as play resumes. You hear a few woos in the chat and in, in the stands here. 5.07 to go in the first. 2-1 in favor of the guys in blue. And they try to get it right back there. Ryan Ritter among one of the guys. There's a scrum in front of the Panthers penalty box. Mainly heavily guarded by a, a line of students from both schools. So the coverage there might be a little hard for us to uh, decipher who's going in, but we will do our best. But it is 2-1 Cal State Fullerton with the lead on two power play goals. here on this Thursday night in Anaheim. Panthers bring it back in and a one on three as that shot hits the mesh and a stoppage with 4.08 to go in the opening period. Face off one by the Titans, they get it out. All the way back down, there might be an icing on this play and indeed there is with 3.59 to go as everybody will come back down. Defensive zone win for the Titans. And then thrown across. Rister on Yano and a stop. And a little more pushing and shoving after the whistle with 3.48 to go. As the linesmen get in between. Liv Haley is one of those guys for the Panthers. And Andrew Francos for the Titans. Off the faceoff, this rolls all the way back to the Panthers' end. And a good hit there. Now it's worked right in front of the penalty boxes and then was picked up by the Panthers. In with speed, Connor McDonald. As they drop it back to Grayson Yada. Now it's picked up by Francos and we have a whistle here and a Tripping penalty is called with 3.22 to go in the first period. And it'll be Alec Gordon who will serve the minor. Off this faceoff, so the Panthers are going on their second power play tonight. They are 0 for 1, I believe. Cotley out in front. That shot goes wide on Yano as they try to jam it in and a stoppage here. And Yano's trying to scoop it up and successfully does on the third attempt. So play resumes. Three minutes to go, a backhander towards the net, hits the mesh and another whistle. And 
so play resumes once again, and the Panthers could not keep it in. 2.48 to go here in the first. It is 2-1 in favor of the Titans. You're watching Titans hockey here in Anaheim on Titans Ice Hockey Broadcasting. Kenny Nelson here high above the ice. It has been a very action-packed game. Three goals in the period. A lot of hits like that and a few scrums after whistles. Both goals for the Titans tonight have come on power play goals. But right now they are on the penalty kill for the second time tonight. The Panthers in gray are 0 for 1 on the power play. Panthers bring it on side here. And a backhander is stopped and held by Yano. And there we go. You knew it was coming. As the linesman get in between once again. As on top are the Titans. And they will both receive five minutes for fighting. As they are chipping one, one another as they make their way to the benches. And the fans here liking what they are seeing here with 2.07 to go in the first period. It is very chippy here and rowdy as well, but that's expected when you come to these types of things. But it's all part of the sport. As play continues and it's kept into the zone by the captain of the Panthers. Right into the circle, a shot. Yano makes the stop. No further play with Two minutes on the clock, even though it shows a minute 56 on the screen. But it is fairly close. Conley calling for it. Francois went down. He pushed off a man, and a shot saved by Yano as it got to the corner. 22 to go on the penalty kill. 140 to go in the first period. So I will pause the time. A giveaway! Oh, and that one just missed. Another shot! Went wide! And now behind. Would have been a shorthanded goal. As the power play has concluded. As the Panthers are now 0 for 2 on power plays. Off this tie-up, it's played back to Francois, and a big drive, and that hit someone out in front. And so the Panthers are able to get it out of trouble. Carry back in with speed to the outside. Big boom checking there. Five-man scrum. And on the backhand flip, it's somehow kept alive and then chipped back down to the corner. Picked up now by Francois. He will settle things down with 50 to go on the clock. A drop pass. And ahead with it now is Ethan Kreller. He fires it as it rattled around to the opposite side. Able to stand the ground there where the Titans banked off the boards. Here's a turnaround shot and a stop made by Holty. Dangerously played it though. And then a shot. They score! A toss towards the net. Ethan Kreller. It is never a bad play to put the puck on net. It is now three to one. He threw it from the side of the goal. It leaks through Holtz, and the lead is now a two-goal lead. With 22.8 to go on the period, 
What a game this is turning out to be. As this is already back down to the offensive zone. They almost did it again there. As it is backhanded along at the half boards and then thrown out of the zone. A backhand flip with five. What an action-packed first period. As the horn sounds, and that's it for 20. Four goals in the period. 3-1 Titans. Ethan Kreller with the latest goal from a difficult angle as the second period will be here momentarily. You're watching Titans Hockey here on Titans Ice Hockey Broadcasting on YouTube. We are here live at the official training center of the Anaheim Ducks. Kenny Nelson here doing the play-by-play -play call for you with AJ Cam who is working the camera for us tonight as the Titans and the Panthers head to the dressing rooms to discuss how the second period will turn out. But we'll step aside and we'll see you for the second period momentarily. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back to the game, ladies and gentlemen. Players are just returning. The, what you are seeing right now is the Titans. They lead it 3-1 over the Chapman Panthers here in Anaheim. Two power play goals for the Titans. The latest goal from Ethan Kreller. That came from the side of the goal. And I honestly have no idea how he got it in, but he just threw it towards the net. And like the great Doc Emmerich once said, it is never a bad play to put the puck on net. And that's exactly what Ethan Kreller had done to give the Panthers, or excuse me, to give the Titans a two-goal lead here. But currently we are adjusting everything for you as we are now in period two. As the linesmen have just come back on. But for those of you just joining us, it has been an action-packed game. Four goals in the first period. 3-1 in favor of Cal State Fullerton. The Titans are 2-for-2 two two on the power play. They are 2-for-2 two two on the penalty kill. And as you can see, the lines of fans at the bottom of the screen, those are mainly Cal State Fullerton students. And they are letting their voices be heard tonight. They are here in support of the guys in blue. They are the Titans, the guys in gray. They are the Panthers from Chapman. Kenny Nelson here high above the ice doing the play-by-play -play for this game and for all home games this season here on YouTube for Titans Ice Hockey Broadcasting. Working the camera tonight, A.J. Cam, a former player for this Cal State Fullerton team. I know he's excited to be here like many of the students for Cal State Fullerton in the section here tonight. Penalty boxes are empty to start the second period. We hope you have been enjoying if you are watching at home, if you are finding this after the fact when the game is over, sit back and enjoy nonetheless. Regular season starts next weekend, October 1st, which is a Saturday. We will be at Gray Park in Irvine. We will be located in rink four. And if I remember, the game starts at around nine o'clock. Teams have switched sides to start the second period. The linesman signaling to the goaltenders as Yano waves to him. The whistle is blown, the arm is raised second period underway sit back and enjoy fighter backhands it it goes off the glass Ritter is there and it is thrown back out to the neutral zone and fired back in deep it rolls around fresh sheet of ice and funny enough the students of Cal State Fullerton and I'll explain here in just a moment as a shot on Yano is stopped and held and that's the first stoppage of the second period here but to finish the thought originally with the Zamboni going around the rink cleaning the ice there was a standing ovation for the workers from the Titans fans and boy was it a sight to see here's a wrister it got blocked and then a backhand shot goes wide on the net of Yano on a backhand try by Leon Lee as the glass now rattling and still rattling as the shot just misses the post and rolls back out to center. This is the period of the long change and meanwhile a hit at center and a few players go off for a change as new guys jump on for the Titans. A missed handle and an opportunity here. Two on one and a stop by Yano and a whistle. Speaking of goaltenders, a little history as we go back in time. A former student, Gabe Zellico, was a former goaltender for the Cal State Fullerton Titans. He was born with a developed right hand and was featured on NHL Network many years ago. He made 91 saves on 100 shots in one game. And I remember watching the video, Kevin Weeks shocked. He had mentioned that he had made 75 saves in one game. And they were making sure that he was okay. And boy, did he have the stories to tell. But with all smiles, 
as he was playing the sport that he loved. Meanwhile, this is a Michigan opportunity. Boy, would that have been an opportunity and a fantastic goal to call. But a wrister and a stoppage on a stop by Holtz. That was Fighter. It was Davis at the side of the net who had tried the Michigan. As this faceoff is won by the Panthers, played back out over the Duck logo at center. For two of the three goals scored by the Titans, we have come to the conclusion that Nathan Hill, number 11, who scored the first goal on the power play and got the game's first goal, was one of the goal scorers. And obviously, Ethan Kreller, who had scored the third from the side of the net, that made it 3-1. This is a preseason game, so the roster is not completely updated, and the jerseys worn by the players are not official as of yet till October 1st, but a stoppage is made, and a penalty is coming up with 17.43 to go here in the second period. It will be a minor penalty to the Titans, and so the Panthers for the third time tonight will be back on the power play. And so the power play for the Panthers is on. A shot deflects to the corner. Fans letting the linesman know the disagreement here towards the power play that is awarded to the Panthers. A centering pass into the slot, batted down, and then out of the zone on a hit there by Spencer Rollins that prevented the, that, or excuse me, allowed the clear as more time goes off the clock. Able to scrape by are the Panthers. That was Grayson Yada as a centering pass is stopped by Yano and cleared. Holtz yelling at his teammate. Three minutes gone, second period. Meanwhile, in with speed and down goes a man. There are no arms raised. Play resumes. A wraparound attempt is stopped by Yano. He's got it. 16.46 to go in the second. 103 for the penalty against Cal State Fullerton. And off this faceoff, it's played to the corner. They hold it there, work back up to the blue line. Back across, a shot stopped by Yano. Puck came loose, a whistle is blown. And what do we have here? Nathan Hill chatting away with Harrison Love. And I will try to line up the timer here for you while calling the action. Off the faceoff, this is thrown across, and a one-time shot blockered away. And they score! It's a power play goal for the Panthers, and the deficit is one. Ryan Foster with the power play goal. And so play resumes, power play goal for the Panthers. It is now 3-2 as Brian Foster has scored for them. Played back in. Here's an opportunity now and a shot, they score! 
It is now four to two. What an effort. Coming down the right wing, letting the shot go. And the lead is back to a two goal lead. Some fist pumps from AJ Cam here. It is loud once again for the guys in blue. Neutral zone face off one by the Panthers. It's thrown back down. Good stick check there. Carrying in with speed are the Panthers to the inside and that was knifed away and back out to center. Work now in front of the penalty boxes and shoved off the puck and down goes a player. No arm raised from any of the officials. As play resumes. Puck worked right in front of Yano there and now here's an opportunity for the Titans. They get into the offensive zone. Chipped on along, picked up there by Spencer Rollins. He throws a man. The sixes dueled there. Leon Lee in gray as Spencer Rollins delivers another check. Now an opportunity and a shot. Oh, and that one just missed. The right post. And then chip back. Ebby carried and another stoppage here as a Panther goes down. An arm is raised. And it'll be another power play for the Panthers. And so the linesmen are getting everything sorted out here to make sure that the penalty is accurate. And we might have more here. Everything is trying to get sorted out here and from, from my vantage point, not much that I can see here. All that I can really see from up here is that the linesman is talking to the people inside the boxes to make sure that everything is accurate here. And it looks like we're gonna get four on four hockey here and we'll adjust that for you. And meanwhile, back in Anaheim, it is 4-2 Titans. And able to get by and then firing one wide was Brian Foster. Good play by Fighter. Here he comes. Two on one the other way. Now a three on three. Fighter plays it across. And that one got away from Ritter. Now the Panthers bring it ahead. Thrown across, good stick check there from Nathan Hill. And now an opportunity, it is Ritter and Hill. Ritter plays it across, they score! It's Nathan Hill! What a pass from Ritter! And it's five to two! Nathan Hill with his second goal of the night. The fifth for the Titans. A minute eight, it's a four on four goal for the Titans.
And so play continues. Good booming check here, and you could hear that. Fifty to go on the penalty kill. As this one rolls and then is failed on a clear, but the Titans are able to recover. 36 seconds to go on the four on four, which I know says 11 on the screen, which is why I will be constantly updating as much as I can. A drop pass and a wrister and a glove stop is made by Holtz with 3.11 to go in the second. Penalty kill at 21, and now it is back to that. 13-11 on the clock here in the second period. Panthers able to advance it. Both guys are going to come back out here in a moment as Codley tries to freight train his way in, and he does with a booming check in the corner. And that's going to do it for the penalty kill. And the Titans are able to bring it ahead. Spencer Rollins is with them. Onside are the Titans. A drop pass. Nobody home, and now an opportunity for the Panthers. Moving in on Yano, it hops off his stick. Yano comes up big. Standing ovation from the bench. And meanwhile, the Titans will play it back in. That was Jason Wong who fired it back in deep. The stick pass fails, the pass got away. No icing, indeed they're is icing with 12 13 to go and I originally thought that they had gotten there first unfortunately Brett Behrens did not off the pass from the defensive end for the Panthers and the puck rolled all the way around and the Titans had gotten there first so that's why there was an icing No matter, play resumes. 12.09 to go, second period, 5-2. That shot got the glass and they rule it dead as it hit the mesh with 12.03 to go. It's a packed house here everywhere I look. Grayson Yada tried to dance his way into the zone but could not for the Panthers as this is thrown around. Back to Brian Foster here. Foster works it across to Yada. Yada with a shot. Getting a piece of that was Yano. Back to Foster. Good hit there. Is this one played behind the net? Mile by the Panthers, a centering pass, and the Panthers could not get it. But meanwhile, the Titans can. A booming check by Foster. Rollins heads off. Oh, what a hit! My goodness! Alec Gordon with a booming check. And that stops the play with 11.20 to go in the second period. And he's getting the appreciation from the guys at the bench. You're watching Titans Hockey on YouTube, Titans Ice Hockey Broadcasting, a newly formed channel. Kenny Nelson here doing the play-by-play -play for you. AJ Cam working the camera for you tonight. Hopefully you've been enjoying this one just as much as we have. It is 5-2, Cal State Fullerton. Nathan Hill with two goals tonight. He has the fifth for the Titans on a beautiful assist by Ryan Ritter. That shot pinballs to the corner. 
And it's worked back along the blue line. On a cross. Thrown to the opposite corner. Hill is there. He drops it off. Banked on back. Hill heads back up top. He has it now, one goal away from the hat trick. It's deflected off a pass across as the Panthers cannot get out with it. Good keep by Hill. Hill walks the line, throws it across. A tough angle shot, oh, and that got Holtz on the arm. Diving play by Hill, and he kept it in. Now it's behind the net, able to spin away from a check as it's played on back. Here's a wrister, and getting a piece of that was Holtz. This one hops off the stick. Back across. They'll play catch, they'll drop it back. Davis number 13 parked at the front of the net. It's played on back, thrown across the hill. Hill shot one, and that one stopped by Holtz with Davis parked in front. It's almost looking like a power play, but it is not. And it is cleared. And I beg your pardon, as I look to my right, the there is a penalty, and it is against the Panthers, and now an arm is raised for the check, and the Titans are gonna go to the power play as more time will be added on. As we will update what you are watching here momentarily, there are still four seconds to the original minor, as now there will be more time added on. It's a boarding minor to the Titans. And so Cal State Fullerton's gonna go to the power play. 9.24 showing on the clock. Third power play for Cal State Fullerton tonight. They are two for two. Off this face off. Ritter fans on a shot. And meanwhile, on the bounce, Foster trying to get there, and it's steered away by Yano. Hops off a stick. It was that of Leon Lee. Here's a wrister, and getting a piece of that was Holtz. A centering pass in front. Backhander by Fighter. Did not go. It's played back to Francois. Francois across. Here's a wrister, and that one getting a piece of that was Ritter as he was parked at the front. Kimber Cruz let the shot go, and it is cleared back down. Leon Lee is inside the penalty box, as I am just looking at this now. It was Brett Behrens that was the player that I mentioned earlier. Cruz ahead, Ritter across, and a wrist on the backhand. That one is denied and stopped by Holtz. as the power play unit for the Titans will come off. Ethan Kreller will take the draw for the Titans here. As off this face off, Panthers able to scoop it out of the zone and here they come, a two on two developing for them now. Right into the slot, kick save by Yano as he directed it to the corner. A hit there in the corner as well. Hill trying to get there. He does. Hill able to throw another check. As they hold it along the half boards, it's worked behind the net now for Yano, who is waiting patiently to see where it's gonna go. As it came out in front, Davis is able to control and carry it in now with speed. He's got Ethan Kreller with him. Drops it to him now. Kreller holds, shoots one, and that got the boards. A backhander! Net was wide open. 
and trying to spike it down where the Titans it goes back down. The power play concludes. And with 7.18 to go, it's 5-2 here in Anaheim. Two goals this period. All right, I beg your pardon, three goals this period. Two for the Titans and one for the Panthers. The stick knocked out of the hands of one of the Titans. That was Dylan Freed who just picked it up. Puck off the, off the stick of Francois. And able to carry it in now with speed for the Titans, but it goes back across to Foster. Ryan Foster works it to the opposite side as it is picked up by the Titans. And they rule it out of play as I believe it went into the bench of the Panthers. right now is for the linesmen to have enough pucks just in case more go out of play like the one did earlier into the Panthers bench but no matter hockey will resume here momentarily and until now the Panthers win it off the offensive zone draw and a shot from the uh, the blue line there is caught by Kurt Yano no problem there Yano has played a fantastic game, making spectacular stops. And meanwhile, an opportunity here, and a shot, and that one just scorched wide. Spencer Rollins was right there for a two-on-one. Here is Hill. He has two tonight, speeding in. Hill to the outside. Tough angle shot, stopped by Holtz. A steal, and it's picked up by the Titans. A backhand attempt did not go for Alec Gordon. Ryan Foster able to carry it in, two on one. Foster with speed, a backhand attempt. That one goes wide by Evan Fenley, number 77 in gray. This one rolls underneath the glove hand, almost as if it was a brown ball. A steal off the half boards on a centering pass by Spencer Rollins. And we have a stoppage here with 5.09 to go. Down is Ritter. And it looks as if the Panthers are going to go to the power play. Spencer Rollins wants an explanation. He, he doesn't agree. And so they're going to go on the penalty kill here. William Fighter trying to get an explanation as well with Dexter Cutley there as well. And it looks as if it's going to be a four-minute penalty according to the hand gesture made by Fighter. So Spencer Rollins will sit. And it looks as if it's going to be four-on-four. Four. That's what it's going to be. Four-on-four. Four. for two minutes here. So Spencer Rollins is in for the Titans. And Grayson Yada for the Panthers as the faceoff just outside the blue line. And so play goes. As waiting patiently 
Looking for an option where the Titans. They fire it back in. Race for it there. Worked back to Fighter. Fighter down low. Thrown around to the opposite side. Jason Wong trying to get there. He did. And the puck comes free to Fighter. He has a chance here. Fighter knocked off the puck and tried to throw it towards the net. He's still tangled up. He still has it. Fed it back to Wong. Jason Wong with a wrister. And that got blocked. Wong fanned on it. And now having to get back there is Fighter. He's tangled up with his man. And then Wong clears it. Great defensive play by William Fighter to prevent a breakaway for the Panthers. Now a opportunity from the side of the net, I believe by Fighter did not go, but an opportunity for the Panthers was denied as the Titans got back. Here's a shot off the glove of Yano as Connor McDonald let the shot go. Meanwhile, on the other side, it's Nathan Hill on the backhand. He fires it wide. The stick got caught there in the stanchion. Never seen that before. But meanwhile, the play continues as Yano makes his way into the bench. There's a penalty. A semi pass. They score. But it counts. Yes, it does. It counts. A little pushing and shoving after. Nathan Hill right there. But the goal counts. It is now 6-2 to two on the delayed penalty call. Number four has two. And so now, Dexter Cotley is trying to get an explanation from the main linesman as to what just occurred, but it looks as if someone had just gotten tossed out for the Panthers. And we will do our best to get that information for you. The delay right now is to figure out what is going on with the penalties to make sure that the scoreboard is accurate. And that is how I've been able to find out who's the people that are getting the penalties here. There is no public address announcer for this game, which is totally fine. But we are working with what we are given. And we hope you are enjoying this one. It is six to two. The goal counted. We saw the signal of the linesman pointing towards the goal. That signals that it does count. If the arms were waved across the, uh, the chest, it would not have been a goal. The scoreboard has not changed and that might also play a factor into why there is a delay. as I will do my best to adjust the clock for you in due time. You're watching Titans Hockey here on Titans Ice Hockey Broadcasting. This one is brought to you on YouTube. Sit back and enjoy. Kenny Nelson here, high above the ice at center, doing the play-by-play -play for you tonight, as AJ Cam has been doing a fantastic job with the camera work tonight. It is six to two as of right now. It is not showing on the scoreboard 
But the linesman signaled a goal. As number four for the Titans did score as he was parked right in front of Tommy Holtz, the goaltender for the Panthers in gray. And so the delay right now is just figuring out what's going on as a player from the Panthers did get tossed. There was extracurricular activity after the goal was scored. As you can see at center, Andrew Francois, Ethan Kreller are chatting about what they just witnessed. But a great centering pass from behind the net to number four for the Cal State Fullerton Titans. That made it six to two. But a player from the Chapman Panthers did get thrown out. We, I did happen to catch that momentarily before he stormed off the ice. And according to AJ Cam, he believed he saw 68. And if that's the case, that is Brian Foster. Indeed it is. It's a game misconduct for him, I believe, as I am looking to my right at the scoreboard. Still in the box for about 19 seconds is Grayson Yada and Spencer Rollins for the Titans here. 3.27 on the clock. As the linesman has blown his whistle, and that re means that hockey is about to resume. As they want to make sure that everything is right. So what I'm looking at right now is four on three hockey. As play continues. And so it looks as if it is five to two still as I will adjust the score here in just a moment. As the Titans will bring it ahead. So the power play will continue because it is a game misconduct, but now it's showing a minor penalty. And a whistle has stopped play. And a penalty is coming up as both guys have just come back on the ice. Spencer Rollins and Grayson Yada. Two forty six shows on the clock here for the second period. And 119 on the minor penalty, which continues to be adjusted here, so it is throwing me off just a little bit. As it now shows 619. Some technical difficulties on the ice level, but that is the delay as of right now from the technical standpoint. But it is 5-2 here in Anaheim. The Titans with the lead. As there is more delay, as Dexter Cotley just made his way back to the bench of the Panthers. There are two linesmen there, and they are discussing with the head coach of the Panthers as the things seem to have cleared up here. And so the Titans are on the power play for more than five minutes, so I will leave just power play up on the video screen here as Kimber Cruz with a wrister, and that deflects to the corner. There's a piece of broken stick out there. Andrew Francois doing his best to avoid it. As Ethan Kreller was right there, a whistle with 2.30 to go, second period. 
as now the piece of broken stick can be picked up. And doing that, Taylor Davis, who had just hopped off off the boards. So this faceoff is won. And played back to Dexter Cotley. And a centering pass fired back down the ice. Yano controls. Kimber Cruz is there. Cruz throws it across. Davis is trying to get there. As Ethan Kreller, Francois and Cruz are back there for the Titans. Davis slams his stick, calling for it. It's played over to Cruz. On a cross, fanning on that shot was Taylor Davis as it's played back to Cruz. Francos, his line mate there with him in 15. And serving in the scene was John Bavlier. Franco shoved to the boards. A minute 28 to go in the second period. Francos gets slammed in again. Kreller. Titans fire it back in and they'll go for a change. 4.45 to go on the power play for the Titans. As this puck hops off a few sticks and now picked up by Fighter. Fighter a shot, stopped by Holtz. Fighter, fed it to the back. Nathan Hill on the other side. He has two tonight. Four originally had two, but that goal was taken away. It's played on back, Hill with a drive, and that got the glass. Ritter banks it along. Yadav tries to clear it and does. Yano comes out of the net. Half a minute to go here in the second period. Nathan Hill on a cross. Ritter with a shot, pops up and hits the mesh with 19 seconds to go in the second period. And so it is cleared back down. Yana will play it. 15 seconds to go. The little head fake there by Yano. Worked as far as center, but the Titans have to get back in the last two seconds and one, and the horn will sound right now. And that's going to do it for 40 minutes of play as the score sheet now shows six. So the goal did count for number four. It is six to two after two. You're watching Titans Hockey here on YouTube through Titans Ice Hockey Broadcasting. Kenny Nelson high above the ice at center doing the play-by-play -play for you tonight with AJ Cam working the camera right now. Third period. We'll be here in about 15 minutes after the intermission. What a game. It has been. The Titans will come back to the power play, which has 3.32 to go. After a misconduct to number 68, Brian Foster. That took place this period. But sit back and enjoy. Hopefully you have been enjoying. It is 6-2 Cal State Fullerton through 40 minutes here in Anaheim. 12 minutes just down the road from the Honda Center. Kenny Nelson, signing off. We'll see you in a few.
Welcome back to the game. Third period about to begin here in Anaheim. We are in Anaheim Ice, which is the official training facility of the Anaheim Ducks for this game tonight. And for those of you just joining us, Kane Nelson here, high above the ice at center. It is 6-2 as we start the third period. The Titans with a four-goal lead. And there was an action-packed first period and an even bigger action-packed second period. So it'll be interesting to see how the third turns out. Kenny Nelson here with AJ Cam working the camera tonight. And it has been a full, fun, fun ride. As the third period is underway, sit back and enjoy. Fresh seat of ice and a start, a penalty already. And it's going to be a tripping minor to the Titans. And so that will cancel most of the power play. As we will kind of switch it to penalty kill for the meantime. So there's 326 of power play time after a game misconduct took place in the second period. And a centering pass that got just thrown wide over the crease as it rolls back out and it is picked up now by Dexter Cotley one of the goal scorers tonight the captain of the Panthers as this is chipped back in deep Davis is there held along there at the half board Davis it hits his body and Davis gets it to the neutral zone it's kicked along there by Ethan Kreller He's one of the goal scorers tonight, along with Nathan Hill and a few others. In the penalty box for the Titans is number 21. And according to my sheet here, we do not have a name with that as of right now, but that will change during the regular season. This is a preseason game. As the regular season starts in October, the 1st, which is a Saturday. But here comes Nathaniel Hill with a step. He has two tonight. He moves in. Nathan Hill scores! It's a hat trick for Nathan Hill, and it is now 7 to 2. What a game he is having. That is three for him. He has played a fantastic game. Forty-four seconds to the minor penalty against the Titans. So it's a four on four goal. As Captain William Fighter trying to get a stick in the way. As Yada goes down, pops right back up after a collision. Fighter able to carry it up now with speed. Fighter puts on the brakes, holds, looks for a man. Fighter tried to get it there, but it whiffed. And so the scoop whirls along the boards and is settled down by Grayson Yada, who wipes out behind the net. Fighters there, centers one, it's on back, Holtz, and then a shot is stopped by Holtz. And so the power play will continue for the next 115. Working it down low. A wraparound attempt, another try stopped by Holtz. Two stops on two consecutive shots as it's played on back, thrown across and whiffed, but it is Fighter who keeps it in in the pass is immediately cleared. And so Kimber Cruz will fetch. Changes in lines for both teams to start here early in the third. This one escapes Ritter. And so it is spiked down by Kimber Cruz. The turnaround pass across. Taken out by Alec Gordon. Gordon wipes out. Seems to be okay as he popped right back up. 
It's played across the radar. Fires one and it's saved by Holt. Another shot and that one wouldn't go. Now it's behind it and a backhand attempt and that one stopped by Holt. Spiked down again by Kimber Cruz and boy has he done tremendous at that tonight. Meanwhile, it's Ritter with a wrister and a stop by Holtz. Another clear, five to go on the power play, and that's going to do the end of that. Panthers get their man back. Fans here for them are appreciative of that. A big hit there in the corner. A centering pass that got blocked. Trying to cut in, and a chance there wouldn't get through. As it is played back up top, Francois throws it down low. A centering pass, and that one spiked down by Ayata. Long stretch pass, and this one escapes, and rolling back down. And getting there first is Francois. Might have tipped someone on the way through. Shocked that there was not an icing on the play. As Brian Foster is back, he did have a major penalty and has returned to the game. Missed most of the second period. That was the big incident that occurred in the second period, and I thought he was kicked out of the game, but apparently not. Meanwhile, back in Anaheim, here's a shot and a stop by Yano and a whistle with 15.24 to go in regulation time. You're watching Titans Ice Hockey broadcasts here on YouTube. Kenny Nelson here doing the play-by-play -play for you. First game... Of for this season, it is a preseason game, and it has been a fun ride for sure, and definitely very excited for this season. As this is fired back in, Panthers get there first. They throw it around, Foster's there in the corner, dancing his way behind the net, trying to get a stick there was Alec Gordon. Foster makes his way around, Foster with a shot, that got the boards. And so it is played and then thrown back up top. Arister on Yano is stopped. No further play, but a few whistles. As the shot came from the blue line by Brett Behrens. And so there is a minor penalty that is coming up against the Titans here. As we will throw back on the penalty kill. And it is Nathan Hill who will serve the minor. Fourth power play of the game for the Panthers. They are two, they have scored two tonight. That is the only two goals for them. As this is thrown back out to the safety of center here and picked up by Foster. Brent Buckland dropped it off. Here's Brian Foster. Great play there, a centering pass stopped by Yano. Jason Wong, big defenseman, making an impact out there as this is played across. Yada down low. Taken to the outside and played back to Foster. Yada waiting on the other side. Foster throws one, it deflects off a stick and rolls back out as more time goes off the power play. Not a single shot on this power play yet. There's one that goes high into the mesh and a whistle. And there is 13.58 on the clock and I will make the adjustment now for you. You see Kurt Yano there. He has played a fantastic game tonight. Only has allowed two, but boy, has he made fantastic stops tonight. A little feistiness there at the dot, as it is one and another whistle here as there was a delay off the draw, and they will do it again. And for those of you that are wondering, what is playing in the background currently is Post Malone's Congratulations. 
This is played on back. Hops off the stick of Yada. Yada dancing the blue line there. Throws it across to Foster. They play catch. Yada at the dot. Good stick check there by the Titans. A centering pass. Great defensive play there by Zane Garcia. Titans are able to scoop it and clear. 30 seconds to go on the power play for the Panthers. Holtz plays it away. Ethan Kreller was there. Garcia joins him. And with 13-12 to go, it is 7-2 Titans here in Anaheim on this Thursday night. A couple of Panthers wipe out off the screen. You might have caught a glimpse of that. Five to go on the penalty kill. A change in lines for both. And coming right back on the ice, Nathan Hill, and there he goes. Hill will go off. Evan Fenley shoved into the boards, my goodness, on a huge hit by number 23. Now it is Andrew Francos on a cross for Fighter. He dances around, Fighter moves in, Fighter a shot, and that one just missed the net. I believe Holtz might have gotten a piece of that. Kimber Cruz fires it back in. More time winding off the clock here. Fighter's stick could not settle the puck, but Ritter is there. He finds Fighter in the corner. Fighter. Nudged off the puck, but kept it going. Now it's dropped off for Cruz. Cruz tried to fire it on goal, but that got blocked. Good hit there by Ritter. Puck available. Here's a chance out in front. Fighter holds. Had to turn around. Turnaround shot there, and that one pinballs around, and then kept alive there by Francois. He shoved off. It's kept alive by the Titans. Drive by Fighter. Might have glanced the post. And so Ritter... And the bank clear, Fighter kept it in, he goes for a change, great moves by Cruz. And Ritter was parked at the front of the net, Francos takes a check as new players come on for the Titans. Nathaniel Hill with it, three goals tonight, let it ahead now for Ritter. Ritter throws it across, not able to settle it there with Taylor Davis, but Ethan Kreller got the drop pass and almost finessed his way through. Here come the Panthers the other way, and a shot that just missed the left post. A shot from the half boards would not go. It's picked up by Nathan Hill as that one popped up and is kept into the zone. Liv Haley threw it in. Frank Coast, the stretch pass. Nathaniel Hill could not get a touch. Holt could, and a whistle and with 10.39 to go, the Titans will go back on the attack. And off the faceoff, it's played on back. Backhanded along and away from the Titans as this is thrown on across. Panthers fired back in deep. That was John Biblier. Or Boblier, I beg your pardon. Good chip there. A chance for Jason Wong. Wong was shoved off the puck. Brian Foster takes a check from Jason Wong. Here's Nathan Hill. Wong's there. As we've reached the halfway point here of the third period, Nathan Hill with a step. He wipes out, tumbles down, and a stoppage here. And then shoving Hill to the ice right now is Brian Foster, I believe. There has been some chatter between both. A player is down at center ice as well. 
as Hill is also down at the moment. Two players down for the Titans here as the linesman has hold of Brian Foster who is making his way to the penalty box right now. Hill popped up. He seems to be okay, but down at center, looks to be 13, that is Taylor Davis. And he is being helped off the ice by a Captain William Fighter. He is ailing there at the bench as they tend to him. And it's going to be four on four hockey here as both Nathan Hill and Brian Foster, as I briefly mentioned, they have been uh, jousting a lot tonight. And Foster has, Foster's the bigger person between the two. And so seeing it from Nathan Hill is something very special. And he was getting a standing ovation as he was making his way to the penalty box. So we have four on four hockey here for the next two minutes. Here's a drive and that one bounced wide on Holtz. Backhanded along now for Grayson Yada. A steal at center. Reinforcements are arriving for the Titans. That's 21 just killing time off the penalties. Spencer Rollins fired it back in. Good hip check there by 21. Rollins keeps it into the zone. Here's a shot. Oh, and that got someone on the way through. Looks to be Brent Behrens. Free could not glove it. Meanwhile, the Panthers move in. And a shot getting a piece of that was Yana with the blocker. Dylan Freed with it. Panthers get it right back. They keep it into the zone. Freed will get there first. Backhand clear. Second attempt works. Here come the Titans. It's 21 to the outside. Oh, and a nice move there to the outside. He keeps it in. You can hear that. A lot of oohs, including myself. Zane Garcia making his way back. Two Panthers collide. And 21 holds it right in front of the penalty box. 20 seconds to go, and here's an opportunity. A shot, and that one didn't get through. Another shot, it's loose. Fighter took the first. Garcia took the second. And now Fighter picks it up at the neutral zone, and he'll carry in in a one on two. Fighter fires one in, in, and that one did not go. Yada clears it ahead. Foster comes back out. So does Hill. Francois able to avoid the check. But he had it knifed off his stick, and here comes Foster. Foster with a shot, and that got the glass. Able to get by a couple there is Kimber Cruz. He dropped it off. Fighter into the slot. Garcia. Could not get it, and now it's played ahead by the Panthers. Two on one, plays it across. What a stop by Yano! He slid across and got a piece. And so the Panthers try again. Down goes up, Nan. That is John Bavlier. Ritter shoved off. Here's an opportunity, one on one. A wrister, and that got blocked. Ritter kicks it along. 6.48 to go here in the third period. No penalties on the scoreboard. 7-2 here in Anaheim. The Titans with the lead. A backhand flip, a booming check there as it is now worked behind the net. Ritter had it tangled up in his skates. It rolls out to the neutral zone, but it's played back in by the Titans, and here's a wrister. Score! What a shot! It goes for a five hole there, and it is now eight to two. And this time officially, that is his second.
So play resumes, 6-21 to go here in the third. The lead for the Titans is six. 6.13 to go, regulation time. Hill kept it in. Nathan Hill, the backhand clear, a whistle and a offside potentially is called as a player goes down. Hill pushed a man. And there might be more that comes from this. And so if my eyes do not deceive me, the Titans are going back on the power play as Dexter Cotley will sit in the sin bin for two. As the faceoff to the left, as the Titans will go back to the power play. Off this faceoff, it's Ritter. And so it is immediately cleared and hops away from Yano. Kimber Cruz will pick it up. The first unit for this Titans power play is out there. Cruz, Ritter, Fighter. And a few others. Here is Ritter to the outside. Fires one. It's kicked away. Oh, and that one just got away. Off the rebound, but it is Fighter. He banks it back to Cruz. Cruz with it there, throws it across. The wrister was blocked, and it rolls out to center. A wrister and a blocker saved by Yano. He has done fantastic tonight for the Titans. He is having himself a game. To the outside is Foster. Foster with a shot. That got the crossbar. My goodness. And a booming hit right in front of the penalty boxes. That gets the fans cheering once again. Fighter sandwich to the boards, cuts free, wraparound attempt, and it is a loose puck, and so play is stopped. Ritter throws a few jabs. The fans get into it with 4.46 to go here. The arms of the referees are up. Ritter threw a few, now Fighter's throwing a few, and Ritter is being escorted to the penalty box. And so it will be Connor McDonald, who is also going, but for the Panthers, as Nathan Hill giving the stick to Ritter. So cross-checking seems to be the calls here, and a roughing are the two penalties as they will be displayed on the scoreboard here in a few. So it'll be four on four here. A four-minute penalty for the Panthers. Number 14, Connor McDavid will serve that. And it's a minor for... Ryan Ritter here in the last five minutes of play. Oh, nice move here and a play across and a shot. They score! What a pass by Spencer Rollins. The finish by, I believe, Ethan Kreller. It is now 9 to 2. Twenty-five shows on the clock here for the third. Nine to the score. What a game. 
full of tons of emotions here on this Thursday night in Anaheim. And I don't know about you, but boy, has this been a game. And it's not even the regular season yet. That starts next weekend. The delay right now is to figure out who is coming out because it's a double minor. But originally there was 20 seconds still on the Dexter Cotley minor and he is on the ice right now. So that will get wiped. And so remaining four penalties, it will be four on four. There is another penalty that did occur as I am looking right now on the scoreboard here. It's against the Panthers. It's number eight, John Bobelier. And I missed the signal that was given by the linesman. And unfortunately, it's too hard to tell now due to the row of fans that hover over the penalty boxes. But as long as the information is relayed to the best of my ability, I will do so. And so it is Cotley. The shot got blocked. Foster. He shoves free to the corner. Yano looking both ways. And now standing tall at the crease. This is fired back in. Holtz plays it. 3.54 to go. And a wrister, and that got the glass on a shot by Foster. And that shot way wide by Leon Lee. Pass gets away from Josh Alexander. As Zane Garcia is out there as well. Foster, the big man brings it in. Backhands one, that goes wide. Frustrations are shown. As this one hops off the stick of Brent Buckland and down. Grayson Yada here. Brent Buckland puts on the brakes, fires a shot, and that hits the chest of Kurt Yano. Shoved to the boards is Berkland. Puck worked along the half boards. Picked up there and making their way through is Emmett Scher. Nathan Hill able to scoop it out and carry it out with speed, and here he comes. One on one, it pops up, rolls in on Holtz, puck is loose, a centering pass, and they just put it in on goal. And a whistle here with 2.28 to go as the clock continues to run here. And I am not sure if that is on purpose, but we will go with it. And now the clock is all lined up. As the faceoff is won by the Titans. Hill. Back down low. The return to Hill and a shot. Stopped by Holtz. Rebound and the puck is stopped by Holtz. And time continues to wind down. You hear the chatter. As this one hops off a few sticks, big hit to the boards there. Pass ahead by the Titans, and getting there is Nathan Hill. Hill, a centering pass. Fighter just missed as this shot chipped in. Fighter's there. Worked along and then bounced right in front. Hill will get there first. He chips it along. Hill with a few moves. Hill with a shot and getting a piece of that was Holtz. 
Work back to Hill. He walks the line. Hill with a wrister, and that got the glass. A turnaround shot in the last 50 seconds. A clear, kept alive by Fighter. Fighter moves in, fed it down low, back to him, and he whiffs the shot on goal. Emmett Shear for the Panthers brings it ahead. A wrister and the shot goes high and wide. Less than half a minute to go. A two on two developing. It is Fighter. A drop pass. It gets away as we are now down to the last 15. Into the last 10. Game started at about 9. It's now 11.30 here in Anaheim, but the horn sounds, and it's a win for the Titans as they surround winning goaltender Kurt Yano in the corner. What a game. Final score here in Anaheim, Cal State Fullerton 9 and Chapman with 2. You've been watching Titans hockey here on YouTube through Titans Ice Hockey broadcasts. From all of us here in Anaheim, AJ Cam, who has done a terrific job tonight on the camera. Thank you very much for watching this one here in Anaheim as the players will make their way to center ice to do the traditional handshake line. One of the best parts of the sport you see it in the pros, and you see it here tonight. Led by Holtz and Yano, and they'll make their way through. Kurt Yano played a fantastic game, let in two, stopped the rest. Nathan Hill picks up the hat trick, and a lot of penalty minutes, but he played a fantastic game as well. The next preseason game, it's Saturday at 8.15 p.m. against USC. Hopefully you will enjoy that. Not sure if I will be broadcasting that one, but I do know for sure that I will be around for the first regular season game on Saturday, October 1st at Great Park in Irvine, rink number four. That game will be at 9 o'clock. But thank you so much for watching the game tonight here in Anaheim. From all of us here, I'm Kenny Nelson signing off. Have a great rest of your night, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Good night.